personal relationship. A personal relationship. That's all it takes for you to fall in love with the person I'm talking about. A personal relationship. To know him, amen, is to love him. To know him is to love him. I pray that everybody in here, everybody in here would pray to God for a deeper relationship. So that you can know that he loves you so much more than anything. So that every situation that you face in life, you can see him in it. For that everything that happens to you in your life on this earth, that you would know that he's in control. I'm, I'm just so, I thank God for maturity. I thank God that he told me and you that if you draw closer to me, I draw closer to you. I don't know. You know, some people you wish you was close to. Yeah. But they, they have a block up. You can only get so close. You can only get so close. It might be people in your life that have great riches. But you can only get so close. You don't know me like that. People that have great influence. You wish that you could have a close relationship with them. But you can't touch them. But we have the God of the universe inviting us, the creator of everything, inviting us to a closer relationship. I, I pray for the children of God to gain maturity and to know that God is so real. He's not something far off. Somebody that can't be reached. Somebody that can't be touched. He sent his son, y'all. He sent his son to walk on this earth in flesh and blood. Just like me and you. That's what the Bible says. We have a high priest, y'all. That's sitting in the heaven that went through what we're going through. He felt pain. He felt hurt. He felt misery. He felt laughter. He felt love. He went through all the emotions that we go through as human beings. And he's sitting on the ground. And he understands. Anybody who's ever had a dilemma to say those three words, nobody understands me. Anybody ever been there before? When everybody around you, nobody can feel you know what you're going through. Because Jesus, Jesus is right here. Right here. He said, Jesus is close. That's why I said, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. And don't just leave me there. Every day. Every second of the day. Lord, I know you with me. Because you promised me you never leave or forsake me. Know that you can pray to God and things happen. Know that the angels are surrounding you. Sure. Y'all, we got everything that we can ever want, everything that we can ever need. That's why the Bible, yeah, David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want nothing. He leads us. He guides us. In the green pastures. I want the children of God on this earth, y'all, to realize who they are. That's, uh, that's my desire. God's desire is the same thing. To know the plan that you have for your life. So that you would just walk into the glory of God. Amen. He wants you to be his witnesses on this earth. He wants you to have a testimony like none other. He desires it for you. He desires everybody y'all. I got to get into my sermon, but I'm just so full of this joy, man. It's real joy when you walk in with the Lord. You don't have to walk depressed, miserable, uh, 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 anxious, none of that. When you know you're walking with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, it's better than a relationship with anybody on this earth. It'll get you in places that you thought you'd never be. He'll bless you with things you thought you'd never have. He'll give you that peace. Trust 
awesome. I thank him so much. I thank him so much. Because he's the one that said, come on. Come to me. You done ahead of me later. I'll give you rest. Now that was me. I didn't have no rest. The pressure of this world was pressing me down. Like it's doing the majority of people on this earth right now. Pressure. It'll bust your pipe. It'll, it'll throw you out. It'll make you crazy. It'll make you angry. It'll make you mad. Acting all out of character. But when you just let it go. And let go. Oh boy, you'll experience the joy that he talked about in his word. This unspeakable joy that the world didn't give and the world can't take away. You'll be walking in the, blow, in the glory of God and people will see the light shining. You'll be walking and you'll be able to season everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you'll make a change and make a difference in people's lives. Because they'll see the God in you. They'll see the God in you. And that's what God's will is, y'all. A lot of us, we went astray. We went the wrong way. All of us. He said all of us, like sheep, have went astray. Like the prodigal son. Go on. But through his blood, y'all, and through his power, he have called us all back. 